What's going on, uh, Mayweather? Uh, this is Nathan Addison with Black Sports Online. I'm actually curious to know, did Logan Paul's uh, style and performance remind you of any past fighter that you fought? Uh, absolutely not. He's just a little awkward. I can tell. Uh, I, I, had to press the, I had to press the action. Me being this small shouldn't be able to walk to a man that big. I was pressing the action. He punched punch, two punches, hold. Three punches, hold. So there's nothing really I can do. I mean, um, as you guys see, he was putting his leg on the rope. He was fatigued. But um, it was either. I mean, when you, when I talk about this exhibition I'm gonna talk about, he know how to hold. He's a, he's a great holder. Um, a great grappler also. But um, like I said, um, I've been in this sport for so long, so long. And tonight was just, I'm just letting people see that I'm able to come out at my age, at 44, and still sell out 30,000, and still do crazy numbers to where I can make, you know, I can make uh, Showtime crash. So I'm truly <laughs> blessed, and I can't. I'm not here to really. I'm not here. To, I'm not here to bash anyone, talk bad about anyone. Of course, at my age, I'm not going to perform like when I was 19, I don't supposed to. It's all about growth and aging. You know, is my hair gonna be all black forever? Absolutely not. When I get older, it's gonna turn all gray. I understand that. That's a part of life. Am I gonna be able to fight like I was fought when I fought Diego Corrales or Arturo Gatti? Absolutely not, and I understand that. So, but the early the early sacrifice that I made, that I talked about, when I was signed with Top Rank, I was with a company from 1996 to 2006, for 10 years, beat the best fighters and didn't make eight figures at all. I would make eight, eight million, seven million, six million on the regular. As soon as I became, I became my own boss, my first paycheck, was eight figures. And from there, you know, I, I was able to pay myself more and more, and I was able to be my own boss and earn what I wanted to earn. Um, whereas, and it's not bashing any fighter when I talk like this, not bashing any fighter. Floyd, you mentioned, hold, hold on, sorry. When I come and do an exhibition or come out and box and have some fun, I do it because I want to do it, not because I have to do it. Whereas Pacquiao, at his age, which is sad that he has to fight. You know, I'm financially sad, and I want to let everybody know this. You can hear, you're gonna hear so many different stories. All oh, Floyd, happy to no, I'm well off. Every every property that I have is paid for. My jet is paid for. All my cars is paid for. I own billion dollars, billion dollar buildings. I own, I, I own so much property, and I'm, I'm steady invested in, in different things. I'm investing in the tech world. I made a lot of smart investments. So I didn't do it by myself. I want to thank my team, and as well as Leonard, a guy who's been loyal to me. And um, you test different people's loyalty. Our, of course, we go through ups and downs. That's a part of our friendship. That's a part of business. Kelly Swanson, um, uh, Steven Espinosa, Al Hammond, and Fight Height. Gotta give a shout out, a shout out to Fight Height. Because when the, world was, when the world was against me, writing bad articles about me constantly, they stood behind me. So that's why when it's time to do an interview, or it's time to get some behind the scenes footage, I will always give it to Fight Height first. Because, like I said before, I believe in reciprocation. Treat me like you want to be treated. And I'm here to let the world know. I already know that I'm not going to perform at the, you know, when I'm almost, I'm almost 45 years old. I'm not gonna be able to perform like 20, 20 years ago. Of course not. That's a part of age. But you age gracefully. But I'm still smart enough to make smart investments and push my kids and to be great. 
So tonight, the the best thing about this whole week, it it wasn't this fight. It wasn't the money. The best thing about this week was my youngest daughter graduating. Yeah.